Oh, section 2 start with the heat capacity specific heat capacity so shortly we can say that it's the amount of energy that needed to raise the temperature by one cc of a substance of one kilogram so it means when you have one kilogram of water how much heat do you need to raise the temperature of the water from 20 to 21 we will be having one calorie per each gram of the water if you want to increase the <coughs> temperature. For example, if you want to increase the temperature by one Celsius of glass, you need 837, 30, 837 joules per each kilograms. <coughs> so heat capacity, it has two units. First one is joule per kilogram celsius joule per kilogram celsius that's the first one standard one and the second one calorie per gram celsius as you see there this one is in joule per kilogram celsius for water this is calorie per gram celsius and when when we can use this one <clears throat> when you want to change the temperature from 20 to 21 celsius how much heat do you need how much heat do you need for each gram for each kilogram of water that's the formula for finding amount of heat actually heat it's equal to mass mass times heat capacity times temperature change so heat capacity is a constant number for the substance are going to change for example for water is one calorie for glass is another number for the liquid for the ice is another number so it's a constant number you're gonna have it basically the formula is like this heat <coughs> equal to mass equal to mass heat capacity and temperature change change in a temperature change in a temperature it means t final minus the initial for example in the question it will say uh, how much heat do you need if you want to change the temperature from uh, from 30 to 50 so 50 is going to be final one 30 is going to be initial one but sometimes it's going to say how much heat do you need if you want to change the temperature decrease the temperature from 50 to 30 in this case this one is going to be final this one is going to be initial delta t for this one is going to be negative 20 celsius for this one is going to be <coughs> delta t is going to be positive 20 celsius because this one is going to be is it's increasing this one is going to uh, decrease and we can use the triangle for memorizing the formula which is heat mass specific heat capacity and chain temperature change for example if i ask you to find the temperature heat capacity you are going to see heat capacity is equal to heat over mass times change in the temperature that is about heat capacity here is an example how much heat is needed to heat two kilogram of water it means that's a mass of water from 20 celsius to 60 celsius this is going to be t initial this is going to be t final and you have specific heat capacity approximately is 4200 so i can say that mass equal to two kilogram and uh, t final is going to be equal to 60 celsius t initial is going to be 20 celsius and i know c water it means heat capacity of water equal to 4200 joule per kilogram celsius what is the unknown is heat heat equal to mass times heat capacity times temperature change so heat is going to be equal to 2 times heat capacity 4200 times temperature change is going to be 60 minus 20 so q is going to be equal to 2 times 4200 times 40 it is going to so be equal to this number 
joule just joule because it is the heat and its amount of energy for the energy we need joule <coughs> the unit should be joule okay here is another example uh, which is we have from 50, 50 to 55 you know t final is going to be t initial and you have the heat capacity how many joules needed to change the temperature of one gram look at this note this is the mass but the mass is equal to 100 gram but heat capacity of al at the minimum is going to be equal to 880 joule per kilogram celsius because this one is kilogram i have to change this one to kilogram which is i will divide it by 1000 which is going to be equal to 1 times 10 to power negative 1 because this two cancel with this one gonna go up it's going to be negative and i know the delta t is going to be equal to 55 minus 50 delta t is going to be equal to 5 celsius i can say heat is unknown so heat is equal to mass times heat capacity of aluminium times delta t heat equal to mass 0 0.1 i can say let's go 880 times is 5 so 88 times 5 it's going to be 440 because this zero with this one is going to cancel each other so heat is going to be 440 joule so if I see this one is kilogram, this one is gram, I have to change the gram to kilogram. If this one is gram, this one is kilogram, I have to change the mass to gram again. <coughs> Look, this question is quite different because it said release it. In the case of releasing, it means you release some energy from the uh, <coughs> substance. We have the 30 gram of iron, that's the mass cools from 50 that's going to be t initial to 10 that's going to be t final and i have the heat capacity of iron now mass equal to 30 gram because this one is gram i don't need to change heat iron <coughs> equal to 0 0.11 calorie gram celsius and the delta t is going to be equal to 10 minus 50 which is going to be equal to negative 40 Celsius. Heat is unknown. So heat equal to M times C times delta T. Heat equal to mass 30 times heat capacity 0 0.1 times negative 40. So I can cancel this with this one. 1.1 times 3 times 40 the result will be negative 132 calorie because this is in calorie the result of the heat will be in calorie or I might write I might write 132 calorie release it that's in a case of releasing when the temperature decreases from 50 to 10 from uh, 100 to 0 uh, in this case delta t will be negative because it's decreasing <coughs> and the last example which is in this example you have something in calorie which is it means heat equal to 2000 calorie how do i know it's heat because the unit of heat we had two units for heat joule or calorie so i see it's in calorie so that it means that's heat uh, at what at 10, 10 celsius it means t initial equal to 10 celsius t final it's going to be equal to 50 celsius calculate the mass of the object and uh, if you know if you know the heat capacity of water equal to one calorie per gram celsius again we are going to use the triangle or you might use the formula mass specific heat delta t so if i need mass i have to divide this divide heat by the uh, heat capacity and temperature change mass equal to 
heat over specific capacity delta T mass equal to heat is 2000 calorie and the heat capacity is equal to one calorie per gram Celsius time is temperature change delta T equal to 15 minus 10 which is delta T equal to 40 Celsius you can say 40 Celsius this Celsius with this one can see each other calorie with the calorie can see each other just gram remain can say this zero with this one cancel so 200 multiplied by 4 it's going to be 50 gram that is the mass so I might give you the gram <coughs> ask for heat capacity you're gonna do the same thing now we are going to explain something uh, which is uh, in the name of heat exchange for example if you have one kilogram of oil at 90 Celsius and you're going to mix it up with one gram of water one kilogram of water at 10 celsius what will be what will the final temperature be in this case we are going to uh, think about conservation of energy which is we said in a conservation of energy amount of heat that lost it it must be equal to the amount of heat that gained so the hot one is going to lose the energy that's why it's red and the cold one is going to get some energy from the hot one that's why as if you look at the chart if you look at the graph uh, the hot one that's the hot one because it has 90 degree and this one is a cold one hot one with the cold one uh, hot one is going to lose some energy and the cold one is going to gain some energy until the point which is we call it equilibrium point at this point they are going to have the same temperature so you can say T final or we can say T mixture or we can say T equilibrium we can say T equilibrium so at the end they're gonna have both of them they will have the same temperature we are going to use the last formula for this one which is mass hot object time is heat capacity of the hot object time is T hot minus T final which is equal to M cold times C cold bracket uh, t final minus t cold we are going to use this formula where while we are mixing two materials to the same materials it could be uh, in a two different temperature <coughs> here is an example you have 150 gram of iron at 83 celsius dropped into 300 gram of water at 20 celsius look in this case to decide which one is hot which one is cold one you have to look at the you have to look at the temperature 20 celsius is not hotter than 80, 83 celsius so 83 celsius is the hot one i can say t hot t hot is equal to 83 celsius because i decided to have 83 as a t hot I have to look at that 83 is related to the iron so mass of the iron will be mass of the hot object which is equal to 150 gram and the the mass of the cold one it could be 300 because I decided to choose this part as a hot one and this part is going to be cold one mass cold and T cold is going to be equal to 20 Celsius because I decide to have iron as a hot one so see iron I will name it as a heat capacity of hot one which is equal to 0 0.1 calorie per gram Celsius and heat capacity of the cold one equal to 1 calorie per gram Celsius which is its water now what is a noun T final I need to find the T final I need to find the T final which is I can say T final equal to M hot C hot times T hot minus T final equal to mass cold C cold times T final minus T 
called. Why in this one t hot minus t final? But in that one is t final minus t cold because always t hot is greater than t final and t final is greater than t cold. So we don't want to get the negative result. That's why we are going to subtract the bigger one from the small, smaller one from the bigger one. M hot is going to be equal to 150 gram multiplied by heat capacity of hot watt is equal to 0 0.1 times T hot is equal to 83 minus T final equal to mass of the hot one is 300 and uh, And 300 uh, is mass of the hot cold one. Time is heat of the cold one is one. Time is T final minus T cold, which is equal to 20. Well, in this step, I might immediately multiply them all, or I might think about the easiest way, which is if I multiply these two together, this zero will cancel with this zero. So it's going to be 15 times 83 minus t final equal to 300 times t final minus 20. But now in this case I will decide to divide both sides by 15. Why? When I divide this part by 15 it will cancel the 15 and if I divide 300 by 15 it's going to be equal to 20 it's going to be equal to 20. 83 minus t final, because it's one remain, one times 83, same, one times t final, it's not going to change anything. And uh, I will divide, I will multiply 20 by t final, and minus 20 times 20. Now, 20 times 20 is going to be equal to 400 minus 20 t final equal to t final minus 83. Now, I will send this one to other side and the negative 40, I'll send it to other side, which is going to be equal to 83 plus 400 because we change the side it becomes positive 20 t final plus t final so it's going to be 21 t final it's 1 t final 1 plus 21 20 it's going to be 21 Four thousand four hundred eighty three. so t final it's going to be equal to 483 divided by 21 which is 483 divided by uh, 21, it's going to be equal to 23 Celsius. That is going to be the final temperature of the uh, question. Uh, for the example five, <coughs> we have one more example. In a laboratory, student mixes 300 gram of water at 60 Celsius with another 100 gram of water at 20 Celsius. So uh, both of the, in the both of the case, C hot will be equal to C cold. Why? Because hot one, which is 60 Celsius, with the cold one, which is 20 Celsius, cold one, and that's going to be the hot one. They are both water. Look, like both water. That's why the heat capacity of water is for one calorie per gram Celsius. And uh, T hot, 60 is bigger than 20, so T hot is going to be 60, T cold is going to be 20 Celsius. Because this is the hot one, so the mass will be the hot one also. M hot equal to 300 gram. M cold is going to be equal to 100 gram and uh, find the T final. We need to find the T final. For T final, we're going to have the formula, which is equal to mass hot times C hot times 
T hot minus T final equal to M cold heat capacity of the cold one time is T, fi T final minus T cold. M hot is going to be equal to 300 times 1 times because heat capacity of the water is 1 times T hot is 16 minus T final. Mass cold equal to 100 times 1 times T final minus 20 Celsius. Now, I can immediately multiply 300 by 60 and 300 multiplied by T final, 100 multiplied by T final, 100 multiplied by negative 20. But I will make my work easier. I will simplify them by dividing both sides by 100. So if I divide this part by 100, other part by 100, I will get 300 divided by 100, 3 times 60 minus T final equal to 1, 100 with 100, 1 remain, 1 times T final is going to be T final minus 20. So in this case, it's going to be equal to 3 times 6 is going to be equal to 8 with 0 minus 3 T final equal to T final minus 20. I can send 20 to other side and 3 T final to this side, 180 plus 20 equal to T final plus 3 T final. Nothing written in front of it, it means 1, you know that. So 200 equal to 4 T final. So I can say T final is equal to 200 divided by 4, which is going to be 50 Celsius. That is the result of the example. Because we have the same mixture, same material, same substance, which is water, we don't need to have two different heat capacity. <coughs> this example is same as the previous one because Example 8, we have 2 gram of olive oil, 200 gram of olive oil at 80 Celsius, so it means that's a hot one. We're going to put it in another container, which is there is 50 gram of oil at 20 Celsius. Both of them is oil. Is added to the container. What will the, what will the final temperature be? We are going to have the same thing that we did before, which is M hot times C hot times T final minus T hot, sorry, minus T final equal to M cold C cold times T final minus T cold. M hot, I know because it's at 83, M hot is going to be equal to 200 times heat capacity of the uh, aluminum is not given in the question, so I can say uh, heat capacity of aluminium times T hot equal to AT minus T final multiplied by mass of the cold one it's 50 times heat capacity of oil sorry it's oil times T final minus 20 look because it is oil, both sides will be the same number, so I can cancel them. I can cancel them. Now I have 50 multiplied by T final minus 20 equal to 200 multiplied by AT minus T final. I can immediately multiply, but I will make, make my work easier by dividing both side by 50. So 50 with 50 cancel each other, T final minus 20 remain. And uh, 50, 200 divided by 50, it will be 4. So 4 times 80 minus T final. 4 times 8, 20, 32. 32. <coughs> With the 0, minus 4 T final equal to T final minus 20. So 20 goes to other side. It will be 20 plus 320 it's going to be 340 equal to 40 final with 1 t final is going to be 5 t final 
So T final is going to be equal to 340 divided by T fi 5 T final, which is going to be equal to 340 divided by 5 is going to be equal to 68 Celsius. Because I have the same material, same substance, olive oil, another olive oil, another olive oil. So let's say heat capacity of olive, olive oil equal to 1000. Again, the 1000. So 1000 from the both side, I can cancel them easily. In this question, we have kind of different than other examples. We have 50 gram of metal at 700 Celsius dropped in one kilogram of water at 20 Celsius at metal. I don't know the metal is what type of metal is that, but I know it is cold one because it is 20 Celsius. I know it's hot one. So T hot is going to be equal to 700 Celsius. T cold is going to be equal to 20 Celsius. M hot which is equal to 50 gram, I can say because it's uh, 50 gram also, because it's seven, 700 Celsius, that's why I can say that's a hot one. M cold is equal to one kilogram, which is equal to 1000 gram. Why I change it? Because as I see heat capacity of water is in the gram. I have it in the gram, that's why I will change it. <coughs> And uh, I know the heat capacity of water equal to one calorie per gram Celsius. I don't know heat capacity of metal. But I know T mixture, it means T final equal to 25 Celsius. That's the formula M hot time is C hot time is T hot minus T cold T final. Sorry equal to mass cold c cold time is t final minus t cold mass hot equal to 50 times c hot one which is equal to the metal because it has 700 celsius so i can say c metal or you might say hot one no problem 700 minus t final equal to mass of the cold one equal to 1000 time is one time is t final equal to 25 i forget to write over there i'll just delete this because the question gives me t final it's equal to 25 it's going to be 25 minus 20. So now I can say 50 times C metal equal to multiply by, sorry, uh, 675 equal to 1000, 1000 multiplied by 5, which is going to be equal to 5000 and uh, 600. 75 multiplied by 50 it's going to be equal to 33750c metal metal and now i will divide both side by this number because i want to have heat capacity of metal along that's why c metal going to be equal to 5000 divided by 33750, which is going to be equal to 5000 divided by answer 0 0.148. Because the unit of heat capacity is calorie per gram, I will say calorie per gram Celsius. That is the uh, way to find the heat capacity. In